I would get home after shooting and I would immediately either take my contact sheets that I would have developed previously because I would never shoot too much. That's the other thing. I'd shoot like maybe 30 images and then I'd, I'd right. you know, whether it was digital or film. And uh, I, I switched between digital and film throughout shooting this. But I would print it out uh, 8 by 10 style, although the entire book. And I'd move all my furniture out of my living room uh, to the sides and I'd lay everything out. And I would see how each each exact image worked with each exact image. And certain marriages between images formed where I couldn't unsee them with each other. There was pairings that just worked. And uh, it tells a story. It tells a story. Sometimes I don't need to say anything. Sometimes it's just there, right? And and uh, that was the other part of Hollywood that I was very, very, it was very important to me to tell the story without telling the story, without dictating to people how to feel. It was that the reader could come away with any experience that they wanted from it. Having never been to Hollywood, having been to Hollywood as a tourist, or living there as a native for, you know, their whole life. Without, without getting too in the weeds, talk about that limiting yourself while you're out there shooting and, and, and why that is. And were you just, ex like, especially digitally, were you exercising, like, self-control? Or would you have to, like, literally put a small SD card or something in your machine? No, it was Like, how, how did you do it? You self-control. You just have to, that's yeah. it, I hit my 30. I'm done. Yeah, anybody who, who shoots film out there knows what I'm talking about. It's You have a roll of film, and you know every shot that you take. It's like, cha -ching, like, yeah. there's a little bit of, there's like, it's expensive. you got to really be aware of how what you're shooting and why you're shooting it and what it it means to you and uh, every time even if I click the shutter and I have a digital uh, camera it, it still becomes cluttered if I take too much time so I would when I would take photos of people I would take two different shots of them sometimes or I would pretend to take the first shot because when you take a photo of people on the street that are very aware of themselves I mean more hyper aware than I feel like the, the highest celebrity in the world would notice if someone's trying to take a photo of them from across a the restaurant. These these people in Hollywood, they know when people are looking at them um, because they're dressed up as characters and such. So I, I would go up and I would talk to people and the process was very, very uh, intimate. And I wanted to have that experience of saying, look, I really need, I really want to take your photo for fine art purposes and I'm doing a photo essay. And then they would, they would give me this pose and then the moment that they thought it was done, that's when I would take the, the picture. Um, and so I didn't want to waste too much film or too much space so that when I got home, I'm like, okay, these are the photos. I'd narrow it down. And, um, you know, shooting film is very different than shooting digital. Um, there's, a, there's a romance to, to the emulsification of film and chemical processing um, that is just really, really special. And, uh, and then I ended up sh shooting a lot more on the M9 because of that CCD sensor. Yeah. yeah.